I'm Piccolo Black and this is a video about the God Particle and how I use it. I got a question in my last video where I showed the process of mixing. So how I use the God Particle is I use it as a guideline but I also sometimes use it as an enhancer or a saturator. And some people use it as one or the other. I use it as both. And I'm gonna just do a quick explanation and demo of how I do this. So this would be pretty easy for anyone that's looking to buy it. And there are other options out here. However, I like what Jason Joshua was going for here. So I decided to go with the God Particle after trying the demo. There is a free demo that lasts about 14 days. So you can try that and then see for yourself. You don't have to buy anything. This isn't a sponsored video. This is just me enjoying making music and mixing and mastering. So, you know, do what thou will. Okay, so I have a track here. I'm just gonna play the first, I don't know. Let's just play this amount here and just see what I've got going on. First and foremost, this has no, let me see. I've got a limiter on it uh, just to give it a bit of a volume. And it's got some light mastering on it that I was just messing about with. But the God particle is off. So here we go. So the way I would use God Particle for this at this point in the process, and, and, and this is for a beat for an artist. This is for a beat for an artist. So I'm not going to fully master it. I'm going to make sure there's headroom uh, when I send it to the artist. And I basically just want to make it sound full and interesting and uh, with excitement in it. So what I would do here is I would use the God Particle as a guide guideline. So I'm going to turn it on. And I'm just going to go to the loudest part of the track, uh, which is. So the first thing I want to do with this is make sure that this is hitting at least minus three and I'd like to gain match it. Right. So I don't want to actually make the track louder. I just want it to hit the green. And the whole thing about God Particle is well, from what I've seen is a lot of people and Jason Joshua himself use it so that when the track is playing, it needs to be in like touching these green parts here, not so much the highs, but the mids and the lows and the input. So let's just get that done. And this middle part is basically just showing the amount of saturation that's added. I normally keep it anywhere from 100 to anywhere from 90 actually to 110 percent depending on the track it's a track by track basis you go with what you like to hear and that's the best you can do really i also um forgot to do this but i like to i, I turn off the limiter i don't need the limiter unless i'm using it to enhance the track and give my limiter at the end of the chain less work to do so let's turn that limiter off All right, so let's test that with and without. Let's AB that to see if the gain is correct. If you're using Ableton, I like to see if it's hitting a certain point with or without. So it's peaking at about minus four. So I'll match that. A, B, yeah. Okay, now at this point, when you've kind of game matched it and you, you're, you're, now, you're now wanting to see if it's hitting all the spots that you want it to hit. So I can see it's hitting the green here in the input. I can see it's hitting the lows and it's hitting the mid. So I could be happy with that. I could bump it a bit in some spots. Turn down the, the lows here.
and now to because I'm sending it to an artist and it's a demo sometimes I might add a bit of the limiter to it just to give it that extra oomph so I'm gonna mess with this a bit and then we'll have a look at what we're at after messing with this some more I've decided that this is how I want my god particle to look I've increased the highs the mids and the lows and then bumped everything down to 90 percent and I've got the limiter at 3.2 dB. So let's have a listen to how that sounds. So the other way you can use the gold particle is you can mix into it. You can turn all of these off. You can turn the input off everything and still hit all of those points. And like, and like, you can get it so it hits these spots in your track and then turn off the gold particle, delete it, do whatever you want. It's just a guideline. And that's essentially how I use the gold particle. Like I said, if I'm making my own tracks where I'm just, I'm, I'm spending more time mixing, mastering, and I'm putting out my own music, I'm not going to use it this way. I'm not going to have the limiter on. I'm not going to have the EQ on. I'm going to do all of that before it even hits the gold particle and um, then I'm going to mix into the God particle so I can hit these sweet spots and get that curve on my track. And sometimes it may not sound right for a specific type of track. So there are other options to use. I just want to put that out there. For example, there's a tone match from Isotope where you can, you can use reference tracks. You can add reference tracks to this, but you can also just have it learn your track by hitting the relearn button or the learn the first time you hit in, and it will give you a mastering chain very quickly and very effectively as well, which is another really cool tool that you can try out. Let's hear it using Ozone. And so I can see here, I'm not quite hitting the highs, so I just extremely increased the highs on OTT just to see how that would turn out. And it did help a bit. And then let's have a look at the, let's have a look at the God particle again. For my taste, I would say that I kind of enjoy the God Particles version more just because the low end sounds a bit more rounded out. And for Tone Match, I enjoy the highs a bit more. So if I could find a balance between that, I'd probably have the mix I'm looking for. Once again, this is a beat I'm just, I'm sending out to an artist. But if it was for me, I would be trying to mix into these and not just throw them on my master and hope for the best. Um, but the great thing about Ozone is that you can tweak this master chain in Tonal, which is a big plus. So once again, you can test out the God Particle and have a look at how it works for you. Mixing into it, throwing it on your master bus and just having a quick master and seeing how that sounds. So what did you think? Did you think the God Particle really came through on this track? Um, obviously this is a track by track basis. Or did you think Ozone 10 sound better on this track and also do you have any vsts that you would recommend me that would work better for this type of track or just in general going forward as a rule of thumb for mixing the god particle is on a 14 day trial so i don't see any reason not to try it on your tracks and just see how it is live with it for 14 days and see what you think that's what i did before i purchased it I noticed that it works really good for a certain type of sound and that's why I purchased it myself. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out my Bandcamp. Oh, and also for any of you artists out there, I have uh, free beat downloads on BeatStars. So check that out, links in the description. Yeah, until next time.